Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com. Today, we're exploring the fascinating world of artificial photosynthesis and how it can be used to produce green hydrogen. By mimicking the natural process of photosynthesis, scientists are developing innovative methods to generate clean, renewable hydrogen fuel. Let's dive into the science behind artificial photosynthesis, its potential benefits, and the challenges it faces. Understanding Artificial Photosynthesis Artificial photosynthesis aims to replicate the natural process by which plants convert sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide into oxygen and energy-rich organic compounds. In the context of green hydrogen production, the goal is to use sunlight to split water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. This process involves two main steps, light absorption and water splitting. The Science Behind Artificial Photosynthesis 1. Light Absorption The first step in artificial photosynthesis is capturing sunlight using specialized materials known as photoabsorbers. These materials are designed to absorb solar energy and generate excited electrons. Common photoabsorbers include semiconductors like titanium dioxide, silicon, and specialized organic compounds. 2. Water Splitting Once the sunlight is absorbed, the energy is used to drive a series of chemical reactions that split water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. This step is typically carried out in a photoelectrochemical PEC, cell, which combines the functions of a photovoltaic cell and an electrolyzer. Photoanode At the photoanode, water molecules are oxidized to produce oxygen, protons, and electrons. The photoanode is usually made of a semiconductor material that can efficiently absorb sunlight and catalyze the oxidation reaction. Photocathode at the photocathode, protons and electrons combine to form hydrogen gas. The photocathode is typically made of a material that can efficiently reduce protons to hydrogen. Potential Benefits of Artificial Photosynthesis 1. Renewable and Sustainable Artificial photosynthesis uses abundant resources like sunlight and water to produce hydrogen, making it a renewable and sustainable method of energy production. Unlike fossil fuels, this process does not generate carbon emissions, contributing to a cleaner environment. 2. High Efficiency By directly converting solar energy into chemical energy, artificial photosynthesis has the potential to achieve higher overall efficiencies compared to traditional photovoltaic systems coupled with electrolyzers. Advances in materials science and catalyst development are continuously improving the efficiency of this process. 3. Scalable Technology Artificial photosynthesis systems can be designed to scale up from small, laboratory-sized devices to large industrial plants. This scalability makes it a versatile solution for various applications, from decentralized energy production in remote areas to large-scale hydrogen production facilities. 4. Versatility The hydrogen produced through artificial photosynthesis can be used in a variety of applications, including fuel cells for transportation, industrial processes, and energy storage. This versatility enhances the potential impact of this technology on the energy landscape. Challenges facing artificial photosynthesis 1. Material Efficiency One of the primary challenges in artificial photosynthesis is finding materials that can efficiently absorb sunlight and catalyze the necessary chemical reactions. Researchers are continually exploring new materials and nanostructures to improve light absorption and catalytic efficiency. 2. Stability and Durability the materials used in artificial photosynthesis systems must be stable and durable under prolonged exposure to sunlight and water. Many current materials degrade over time, reducing the overall efficiency and lifespan of the system. Developing more robust materials is a key area of ongoing research. 3. Cost The cost of materials and manufacturing processes for artificial photosynthesis systems is currently high. Reducing these costs through advancements in materials science, manufacturing techniques, and economies of scale is essential for making this technology commercially viable. 4. Integration with existing infrastructure Integrating artificial photosynthesis systems with existing energy infrastructure presents logistical and technical challenges. Developing compatible storage, transportation, 
and utilization systems for the produced hydrogen is necessary to fully realize the potential of this technology. Future Prospects and Innovations 1. Advanced Catalysts Research into advanced catalysts that can efficiently drive the water-splitting reactions is critical for improving the efficiency of artificial photosynthesis. These catalysts must be highly active, stable, and made from abundant, non-toxic materials. 2. Nanostructured Materials Nanostructured materials offer promising pathways to enhance light absorption and catalytic activity. By manipulating materials at the nanoscale, researchers can create structures that maximize surface area and improve reaction kinetics. 3. Hybrid Systems Combining artificial photosynthesis with other renewable energy technologies, such as wind or conventional solar panels, can create hybrid systems that maximize energy production and storage. These systems can offer more consistent and reliable energy output. 4. Bio-inspired designs Drawing inspiration from natural photosynthesis, researchers are exploring bio-inspired designs that mimic the efficiency and robustness of natural systems. This approach can lead to the development of more efficient and sustainable artificial photosynthesis technologies. Conclusion Artificial photosynthesis represents a cutting-edge approach to producing green hydrogen by mimicking nature's own processes. While there are significant challenges to overcome, the potential benefits of this technology are immense. By continuing to advance our understanding of materials, catalysts, and system integration, we can unlock the full potential of artificial photosynthesis and pave the way for a sustainable, hydrogen-powered future. Thank you for joining us at ReneeEnergy.com. If you found this information helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more insights into renewable energy and sustainability. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.